How's it going, everybody? My name is MDK W Lan, otherwise known as MDK, and today this is a video that should have been done quite a lot, while ago. So, uh, first order of business. Yes, it has been a very long time since I made a video. I do apologize for that, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, I don't have a schedule to maintain. I do this as a hobby, and for those people that want to assume you know, the narcissistic idea that I have some imaginary deadline to meet, even though I said that I would make a video. That's right, I said I'll make a video. Uh, when I make it, who knows? So, that out of the way. Uh, so I'm running Windows 8.1 right now. Um, I'm triple booting between Arch 8.1 and FreeBSD. Start messing around with BSD because... Uh, I'm starting to like ZFS more, and I like Warden and Jails and different stuff like that, so I find it fairly interesting. So, again, with that being said, let's get to one of the main issues that I've been having. So, two different web browsers here. Uh, one is Nightly, and the other one is Google Chrome. Google Chrome has been giving me issues here, and it's only associated with Chrome and Chromium. I've booted up into uh, BSD and Linux, and I still get the same issue. Um, if I click here, it asks me to sign in, and I look at it, it just it's a JavaScript to force reauth, uh, reauthenticate your user account. So I've had this issue since this whole integration happened with Chrome. Now, if I go into even Internet Explorer or regular Firefox, this is nightly, um, I can see it no problem. Like, literally, no problem. But it's only with Chrome that it becomes an issue. I don't know what that is, and it's just annoying because I actually like using Chrome on Windows. Um, but if it's going to impede me from being able to comment on people, which it has, hence why I haven't been able to... Uh, respond to some people's questions and I do thank the people that are have been responding in my place I, I do honestly thank you uh, but yeah so now that's been squared away I don't really have to deal with that anymore and I'm actually using Google Plus to you know comment and make random comments that I see throughout the day from like distro watch and shit like that and I don't really do that with Twitter anyway so yeah um, I don't know how do I what am I I, I don't even know what to say I'm MDKWLAN on Google+, Plus, so plus one me, I guess, if you want to follow my random shenanigans that I say. And on Twitter, I'm at MDKWLAN. So, there's that. That's out of the way. Um, issue number three or four. Uh, ever since VirtualBox became 4.3, I've had this issue of uh, like a memory leak issue. So if uh, I'm running a Intel i3 processor that's overclocked to run at 3.5 gigahertz, and it's a, technically it's a it, no, it's a dual core that is hyper threaded to run like a quad, and it's not really it's hyper threading, so it's really not true four cores. It's like three and a third. So that's not really the issue that I'm having. It's like I can turn the execution cap down to 50% and have it run at one core and I still get it, which is annoying. And then I thought it was my graphics card failing, which technically graphics card is starting to fail, but that's not the issue. Um, if I run any distro and do any processing, the host suffers greatly. Now, if I boot up into BSD and use jails, it runs seamlessly, or if I boot up into uh, my Archbox, works perfectly fine, and I have no lag issue. So I might just start recording my virtuals demonstrations within Linux, which I'm sure the Linux fans will be happy. Um, while I do make videos about Linux, I am not a fanboy in any shape, way, or form. Uh, uh, if you ask me a Linux question, if you're a noob, I'm going to say use either Ubuntu or Solid XK, um, or, or even Debian. Debian's fairly, and yeah, the, the installer's a little weird. But, you know, if you ask me about Linux, I'll tell you about Linux. Now, if you ask me about Mac, I'm kind of not sure. I'm going to tell you you shouldn't, <laughs> mainly because it's overpriced, 
and that's my main issue with Mac. The operating system itself is based off of Darwin, which is a variant of BSD, which is good. It's cool. Honestly, it is. But majority of the time, I get asked questions with Windows. Like, how do I do blah on 8 or virus problems? This is the main, main stuff I have to deal with. So I'm not a fanboy in any way. I can, there, there's downsides to every operating system. And I will point that out all the time. And no operating system is 100% secure. Even NetBSD, not 100% secure. So depending on the connotation that you're asking me, I will tell you what's the best. Overall, my overall opinion and personal preference, I do like Linux, but I'm becoming more and more of a fan of BSD every day. So whatever I'm currently using the most, I guess I'm a bigger fan of. And currently that just happens to be BSD. I'm sure if you ask me next week, I'll probably make some remark about how BSD has pissed me off. Anyway, I think I covered everything there, hopefully. I've recorded this several times now, and I've been trying to get it shorter and shorter. My first attempt was like 15 minutes, second one was 10. Now I'm down to 6. I think I'll, I'll run with 6. So a lot of the issues have been addressed, and once I can figure out this one with VirtualBox, um, I'll start recording again. But uh, it is like the second week of December. I do have an operation on my knee coming up, so I will have a lot of free time where I'm just going to sit around and do nothing. So, hey, why not and deal with Vicodin MDK? <laughs> Anyway, um, the Gen 2 video is coming soon. When I get the time to record it, I will. And uh, there's this new thing with VirtualBox that came out with 4.3, this video capture thing. I might attempt to, to use that for the Gen 2 install because it does seem interesting in the sense that the way I'm going to record Gen 2, I'm not going to record any of the compiling. Obviously, that'll be done off screen. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at like a seven hour video. But. Uh, if this will suffice without, you know, killing my box, I'll try it. Uh, the quality is an issue, and that video format is a rather interesting one, so I'll have to look up more about WebM. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But once I get this all squared away, I'll start recording again. So, uh, eight minutes in here. I, w I do wish each and every one of you a happy holiday. Um, I'd go through and list off all the wonderful holidays that happen this time of year, but I think I'd be here until I'm blue in the face, and I'd still forget one. So I'll leave you off with happy solstice, because believe it or not, you're kind of, well, you're not forced to celebrate the whole solstice, but it happens regardless every year. Near the same date. I can't say it's always the 21st, but it's, I think it fluctuates between the 21st and the 22nd leap year shit. I don't know. Anyway, happy solstice and happy holidays. So, and of course, happy new year. Um, I'm probably not going to make another video within the year. So, you know, I, I look forward to 2014. It can't possibly be any worse than 2013 was for me. But here's looking to the future. So have a good one, guys. And I will hopefully see you before the new year. But if I don't, make it a good one. Take care, everybody.